Then think of a number of problems. The key thing to these is actually to build up the expression over time. So we think of a number, let's call it x, and we draw a flowchart of what's going on. And the first thing we want to do is double it. So let's just tick that off as done. So we're going to double it, so that's times by 2 to get 2x. Then we're going to subtract 8 to get 2x minus 8. Then we're going to halve it. Now halving is the same as times by a half or dividing by 2. So you can do it either way. I'm going to times by a half because most students understand timesing out the brackets by half much easier than they do by dividing by 2. So this now I'm going to simplify. Half times 2x gives me x. Half times minus 8 gives me minus 4. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add 8. So I get x plus 4. Minus 4 plus 8 gives me plus 4. Subtract this amount from 50. So I'm going to take this amount from 50. So take the 4 away from 50, that leaves you 46. Take the x from 50, you get minus x. I'm going to add my original amount, which was x. So add x to this, I get just 46. So, and subtract 4. And that gives me 42. What am I left with? Well, we've got the answer, 42. Prove I'm always left with the same number. Well, we have done this by doing the flow chart. By starting off with x, it doesn't matter what number we put in, we can see that we get 42. And it's proven.